Hi, welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm doing something a little bit different. Fortunately, I can't go out today because we've had a red weather warning here in the UK. We've had a massive storm blow through, so the only day I've had off to do photography, not been able to go out of the house. Would have endangered myself and possibly others if they'd had to come and rescue me if I got into trouble, so no photography today. So what I thought I'd talk about instead is the way that I pack my bag. Now I've had a couple of questions about my photography gear, uh, specifically about the bag I use as well, because you may have noticed if you've watched my videos before, I don't actually use a proper photography bag, a bag that's been designed for photography. There's a couple of reasons for that. Now the first reason, probably the main reason, is comfort. You may have noticed in your own time using backpacks that some photography bags aren't particularly comfortable especially the ones that are more affordable. They're not designed in a way that they're supposed to be carried up mountains or hiked for days with. And there's a reason for that. It's because they're designed more for carrying photography gear. Of course they are. That's what they've been built from the ground up for, which means they're great for somebody that's perhaps a professional photographer, somebody that wants to look like they know what they're doing in front of clients or customers. Because if you're a commercial photographer, portrait photographer, people generally want to see you with photography gear. But if you're somebody like me that does photography as a adventure sport and hobby to go along with my other hobbies and work, then you want to have something that's versatile, something that's comfortable, that's very important, and also something that will stow your photography gear safely and effectively. But you still want to have quick access as well. Now I've seen people try to solve this in a variety of ways, but I've worked out a way that works for me. Now, there's no perfect way to do this. Photography is all about compromise. If you watch any photographer, they'll tell you that. Sometimes you've got to let go of one thing to take advantage of another. Now, I've leaned heavily towards comfort and convenience for my own photography setup. That might not work for you. You might want to look more professional. You might want to have a bag that is dedicated for photography. That's absolutely fine. There is no right way to stow your photography gear when you're out and about. But I thought I'd share the way that I do it in case it inspires you to have your own way. And if you've got any comments on your own way of stowing your photography gear when you're out and about, I'd love to hear about it in the comments. I'm always open-minded to hearing what people think. Now, with my particular brand of photography, adventure photography, it's taken me to all sorts of places. I've been up mountains in the snow. I've walked through forests with dense foliage. I've walked across streams and rivers that I need good waterproof backpack for. I've been out in all sorts of weathers. And because of that, I wanted something that I could trust to look after my photography gear. So I've gone with a trusted brand of backpack. This is the Osprey Stratos. Can you see it there? Osprey Stratos 36. I absolutely love this bag. It has seen me through thick and thin and I've used it on almost all of my photography adventures. Now let's talk about the thing that's most important to me for my photography, comfort. If I'm going to be out and about for hours, maybe a whole day, then I want to know that I can carry my backpack all day without it weighing me down too much or without it being too uncomfortable on my back. And this is a well-known brand for being comfortable. If you look at the back here, there's a nice big gap there, uh, their space, that means that when you're hiking up a hill, perhaps at a pace in summer, you don't get a horrible sweaty back. If you've ever worn a cheap backpack and you get all sweaty, you know exactly what I'm talking about. There's nothing worse. Whereas with this, because of their design, they're designed to be breathable and it's just so comfortable. Honestly, I've worn this in really hot weather up a mountain and it was absolutely fine. I got back down the mountain, I was sweaty, but back, no sweatier than the rest of me. Absolutely loved it. It's a nice little thing to think about, isn't it? <laughs> I will say that nothing is sponsored in this video. Nobody's paying me to say any of this. Uh, this is all stuff that I've bought with my own money, every single piece of it. Uh, if you do want to see any of it, it's all linked in the description. Uh, if you want to have a look for yourself and see what you think, obviously you'll, you'll come up with your own design of how you want to do photography uh, and adventure photography in particular. But like I said, I'm just sharing the stuff that I found really works for me. Another thing that's great for the comfort is the hip belts. They are so good. They're designed so well to rest on your hips. All that weight is uh, spread evenly across the back of your body. No matter how heavy it is, it barely weighs you down at all. I really love it for that. Now, of course, as a photographer, the first thing I want to talk about is how I store my photography gear in my backpack. 
this is one of the things I absolutely love about this backpack is the side access storage. You can just open the zip down the side and in there you can have your photography gear instantly accessible. You haven't got to go digging through loads of stuff to get at it. Now this little cheap insert is what I use to put my photography gear in. Uh, this is padded, it says it's waterproof but I, I don't believe it. I'll go on to that in a minute how I keep my stuff dry but because of that I've got little dividers in here it means that I can have my lenses whatever I want in there, filters, uh, even got a little uh, like mini tripod so that I can use that if I need to for chatting to the camera. That's where I keep my main photography gear for stills. That all goes in the side of the bag if, for, so that I can access it whenever I need it. If I spot a composition, just take the bag off, open the side zip, it's all there, perfectly ready for me to get at it. Now, of course, I'm not just a photographer. I also like to film myself on my adventures as well and share with you guys on YouTube. What that means is that I can't always be taking my bag on and off to access stuff all the time. If I want to catch some b-roll, if I want to film myself chatting to the camera, if I want to hold the camera up and chat to it. If I have to take my bag on and off every time, eventually I just give up doing it, especially if I'm hiking up a mountain and I've got a time frame I need to do something with before the sunrise, for example. So as a solution to that, I've got this little bag here. Now, this is a cheap make, um, Ben's Besson Photo. I got this off Amazon cheap bag it's waterproof apparently never tested but water's never got in when it's rained so that's the vital thing and the good thing about this bag is it's an absolutely perfect size for storing my gear for filming myself basically got a wide angle lens a b-roll lens little road mic which i'm using at the moment on top of the, this camera uh, what that means is that i can have access to stuff instantly that i want to film uh, without having to take my backpack off every time just opens up nicely, got a nice waterproof sealed zip as well which is really good, a little divider that it comes with as well and in there I can have all sorts of stuff, I've got a little lavalier mic, I've got spare batteries, spare cards as well, a little shower cap, if you've watched my video on um, how to do photography in bad weather you'll know that shower caps are really vital especially if your camera isn't weather sealed, definitely recommend having a few of these. The great thing about this is it's not swinging back and forth and being a, a pain on your hip all the time. Normally with like a shoulder strap bag that can strangle you or it can be a real pain in the backside if you're walking at a pace, if it's swinging around. This does not all, nice and light, sticks to your body tightly. It's got a good belt loop on the back so you put it through there and then when this is clipped onto my bag, my Osprey as well, keeps it nice and sturdy, just as if it's another extra large pocket on the bag really useful really good tip as well if, if you're looking for a way for easy access to your photography gear or your videography gear while you're hiking so let's talk about some more about a different sort of photography gear now tripods everybody's favorite subject now because i like to film myself and do stills quite often i need two tripods and because of that i'm really glad that this bag has got two side pockets two really good side pockets you can see here i've got my uh, filming tripod on there that's a Manfrotto Action Go or something like that it's called it's linked down below anyway what's good about that is it's a great little tripod for being able to film yourself in fact let me take it off and show you now I didn't want to spend a lot on a tripod for videography because uh, it's not as important that it stays absolutely sturdy like my stills tripod needs to be that you're on at the moment what's good about this is it's got really quick folding legs really important if you want to film something quickly as you can see that's got really good articulation you can move it in all sorts of directions for filming and you can got because of this like gun grip handle here you can move slowly around there and it's really effective for that i'm really quite pleased with it it's sold as a sort of hybrid between um stills photography and videography i wouldn't really recommend it for stills photography it's no good for it. it's not sturdy enough bit of wind and it'll shake like mad um, but for videos absolutely love it it's great nice and light it's not heavy at all uh, even though it is metal it's not carbon fiber but perhaps that's why it's not so sturdy so let's talk about some of the th stuff that i pack that makes it really comfortable for hiking something that just makes hiking that much more of a nice experience now i've got a couple of these carabiners 
The reason I'm starting with these is because they're so useful. They're only a couple of cheap ones off Amazon. They are rated for climbing, but I wouldn't use them for climbing. I'd use a more reputable brand for that. What these are really good for is if I need quick access to something like my water bottle, for example, I can just clip that onto there and then I can clip that onto my belt. What that means is I can have quick access to my water bottle whenever I need it. Really handy for that sort of thing. Carabiners, at least have two of them I'd recommend. They're nice and light, really good for clipping stuff on that you might want to just have on the outside of your bag. But let's talk about some of the pockets that are in this now as well. Start from the top down, I think. It's got a really good pocket in the back here, on top. When you need quick access to stuff that you want to just get at in an emergency, or you know you're going to be frequently getting in and out of when your backpack's off. So in here, I've got, because I'm getting a bit old and my knee's giving way. My left knee gives me trouble sometimes. Not so much that I need to worry about it. I've had it seen, it's not a real problem, but if I'm walking down a mountain after a really long hike, sometimes my knee will start to weaken and give way. So I've got a little knee brace in there, just so I can quickly get it out, put it on. Helps me no end if I do have trouble. What's we got here? Little first aid kit that I put together myself with like, uh, blister plasters, some paracetamol ibuprofen, a little tick remover, the sort of things that you expect to encounter on a hike or on a mountain, that sort of thing that you know you may need. Nice quick access in the top here. And then I've got a little flat sponge. This thing's great if you want to keep your gear dry. You just wipe it off, wring it out, dries it so quick, nice and light, doesn't take up any room, really handy. Uh, because with microfiber cloths, once they're wet, once they're really soaking through, they tend to stop being able to dry stuff off. I've not found that with this, really good. Then on the underside of that, that, that flips open and you've got a little mesh, sort of inner there. You can just keep your keys. I keep a little head torch in there as well that I can access quickly if I need to, if it's starting to go dark. Loads of little pockets like that. I will go through all of them, that'd be like a well boring video. And it's got a nice long zip down the front here where you can access anything. That's where I tend to keep uh, like a buff and that sort of thing. Anything, that, anything else that I want quick access to. Of course, as I said before, in the main compartment, that's where my actual photography here goes. Now, there's loads of room in here. It's nice and spreadable. It's really diverse with how you can use it. You can pack it as tightly as you want in there. Of course, my... Um, That little insert goes down the side, so I get the side access pocket here that I can access so easily. And then down the side of that, because that doesn't take up much room, I've got this. I've got one of those uh, waterproof bags. Now the reason I put this in, because there is a waterproof cover on that bag, but the reason I have this is, despite the bag having a waterproof cover, if I want to keep something inside dry that I know it's going to stay dry, then I keep this in there. So stuff like my down jacket and that sort of thing because if you're having to put wet photography gear back into your bag, you don't want to get in other stuff wet as well. That'll really ruin your day. If you want to put a nice warm down jacket on and your photography gear's got it wet, that's really going to make it miserable. Now, on the bottom of the bag, there's another couple of pockets that are really useful. If I undo this little, these little roll clips here, so you, so you can put like a, a rolled up mat or something if you want to on the bottom. One last little pocket that I didn't discover for a long time. Didn't even know it was there, it was hidden away. But it's a perfect little separate compartment. That's the bottom of the inside you can see there. And there's a whole compartment in there. Now what I keep in here is my waterproof jacket. Because it's on the bottom, it doesn't soak through everything else. And I've got quick, easy access in its own separate compartment. And if I need to put a bag on the floor, it means that it's a waterproof that's on the bottom as well. That's really good. And then at the very bottom, you can you see there, we've got our little waterproof thing. That's a little bag, it just comes out and you open it up. That's clipped on, that's really handy that is. Lots of bags come with that I know, but obviously with Osprey it's designed to really withstand the weather. It's never let a drop in when I've needed that. If there's a sudden downpour of rain you quickly need to get it over your bag. That's invaluable, it's so important to have that. Now one of the things I absolutely love is that on the hip belts here is two pockets on each side. So when you open these, you've got access as you walk into stuff. In here, I tend to keep like a lens cloth, uh, maybe a few sweets. Don't tell my wife that one. She thinks I'm out being healthy when I'm on a hike. Not always. <laughs> 
but they're really handy if you want to have quick access to stuff as you're walking along and you just reach down the side to pick it out use it it's great now as with a lot of bags these days the clip that goes across your chest there comes with a little whistle on it a little emergency whistle just in case you fall over sometimes you can't get access to a whistle from somewhere else but because that's across your chest you just unclip it put it in your mouth and if you're hiking out on your own which i quite often am that's really important that is if you've not got any other way of contacting somebody because of signal or something like that that could absolutely save your life really handy little feature they've really thought of a lot of stuff with this bag now something that's unique to osprey as far as i'm aware are the little loops for putting your walking poles in they're really handy on your shoulder strap here you can just put your walking pole through and it puts, goes through another uh, loop at the back what that means is it stows your hiking poles underneath your shoulder uh, so when you're walking it doesn't get caught on your arm really handy um, it's such a clever design that is i've used it so many times i've even put my tripod in there a couple of times if i don't want to put it back on the side i want to put it somewhere with quick easy access and i just stick it in there if i haven't got my hiking poles and i can carry it along with it with me without it being too much in the way it is a little bit of a bulky one uh, to have under there but if i'm just hiking a short distance with quick access to my tripod really good so that's just been a quick run through of how i pack that bag for adventure photography I try not to go into too much detail because those sorts of videos can be really boring. Shame I couldn't get out today, uh, this week, but it's just how it goes sometimes. So I just wanted to share a little something that I found helpful. If you found it helpful, I'd really appreciate you giving the video a like because that's the sort of thing that helps it reach other people as well that they might find useful. It helps the algorithm though as a really small channel. That makes a huge difference. So I really do appreciate everybody who does that. And also, as usual, I don't want to try and coerce you into subscribing really annoys me when people try and do that but if you want to you'd be more than welcome on this channel i like to have a, a nice little community here so be, feel free to join us if you want to if there's any questions you've got about the gear i've talked about today or any recommendations feel free to ask below i'll try and get back to as many people as possible uh, it's still a nice small channel which means that i can respond to most people at the moment as we grow that might change but for now i can respond to most people i also want to really thank you for the lovely comments i've had in my videos so far especially the last one some people were really nice in that one um i didn't quite feel myself that day so people just were really nice and i do genuinely appreciate all the lovely comments so thank you to you if you've watched my video again after that uh, you know who you are if you've made nice comments if you'd like to see me using this backpack on one of my adventures up a mountain, then click on this video here. In that video, I climbed up a proper windy path. It was such a, an awesome day, a lovely sunrise picture uh, that I got on that day. Well, I got so many pictures that day, uh, but the backpack was really good. So if you want to watch that, click on this video. And if you do want to subscribe, then click on my face here. And I'll see you on the next one.